between the screw over here and the ground contact right here. It says GND, so this is the ground. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is my fifth video on the new Tarantula Pro 3D printer. I did the video on the unboxing, on assembly, on the first power on with some test prints, and I did a comparison with the very popular Ender 3. Now, what happened since I published my video on my first prints is that I had some major print issues and I had to contact support at Ummers. Uh, they gave me a few good hints that I want to share with you today. Um, there are very important things you need to do uh, mechanically, electrically, and with your slicer. So I'm going to cover all three aspects right now. But just to show you here, I was getting print interruptions after typically two hours and major layer shifts. So as you can see here, print interruption on my uh, on a chess uh, piece I like to print for testing purposes and uh, major as you can see here major print or layer shifts uh, and I discovered that the problem was not just the SD card like I reported in my previous video so first thing mechanically you have to make sure your printer is mechanically sound so when you install it and if you look at my assembly video everything needs to move smoothly no wiggling on the y-axis especially smooth x-axis also so adjust your eccentric nuts well not too tight and not obviously not loose the z-axis i cannot test it now because i have my rod installed but before you install the z rod you have to move it up and down like I showed in my assembly video. So first thing, mechanically, you have to make sure your printer is good. Now, electrically, let me move this aside here. We'll need to open the bottom uh, to have a look at that. So make sure you remove your spool holder. Move the printer sideways on this side, just like that. And now I'm going to move my camera. Now on the electrical side, we have three things we need to check. First of all, obviously, your limit switches and motors need to be plugged correctly. And we have two things to do in the control uh, board over here. So we have to remove this uh, panel first. For the next part, the electrical uh, check, just use a good uh, multimeter. Now our panel is removed. First thing we need to do is make sure that the ribbon cables that go to the display board in the front uh, are as far away as possible from the power supply. This is according to um, Amher's uh, support. Uh, I told them that this is nice, but the connectors here are right against the power supply, So, but they did not get back to me on this. Now we need to adjust VREF, which is the voltage reference for the four stepper drivers over here. These have to be set at 0.95 for A4988 uh, drivers. I had two that were set at 0.7. So I think this is the reason why I was getting uh, layer shifts and also print interruptions. So I'll get my camera closer and I'll show you how to test and to change the voltage in one of the four. So we need to turn the power on so you can hear the fan now probably. And you have to be careful. Ideally, you would use a ceramic screwdriver to do this, but I don't have one because I don't do these things very often. But you have to be careful that you don't short anything. So you want to measure the difference of voltage to 0.95 between, let me use a pencil for that procedure, between the screw over here and the ground contact right here it says gnd so this is the ground some people take the ground at different locations but i guess i am old school i prefer to take the ground measurement right on the chip itself so the screw is here so if you want to increase the voltage you turn the screw clockwise if you want to decrease the voltage you turn the screw counterclockwise and again we need 0.95 volt for this type of drivers so i have my camera on my voltmeter so what's easier to do here is that because it's a screw and I have to put my fingers off the camera here, 
what you do is that you park basically your red probe on the screw okay this way it's not going to move because it's inside the screw and then you just tap the ground measurement here and as you can see I am at 0.98 so again being careful because I don't have a ceramic driver I just a screwdriver I should say you just turn the screw here just slightly counterclockwise I was at 0.98 so let's again park this connector right there and I touch the ground and I am at 0.84 see it's very difficult to adjust okay I just moved it up a little bit so again I'll just park the probe inside the screw touch the ground and I am at 0.90 And now we have 0.953, so this is good. So you do this for all four, and again, you aim for 0.95, between 0.95 and 0.96, basically. Now we can put our plate back on, and again, make sure that the cables here are as far away as possible from the power supply. Before moving on to uh, the slicer part, I want to stress again that uh, you should use a ceramic screwdriver it's it's best that you do that to avoid any potential uh, shorts so now um, in discussing with uh, Amers over a period of one week uh, there were also important parameters in the uh, in the slicer and I'm using Cura if you're using something different it's going to be similar anyway you will see why so I was told that the fan speed should not be set at 100 percent I was told maximum fan speed should be 50 percent and apparently there's a potential of a uh, thermal uh, kick in and that might be responsible for my print interruptions after about two hours so fan speed 50 percent or oh, by default Kira for the Tarantula Pro will set 100 percent so I set that to uh, Amers also the print speed by default uh, the non-printing speed when the head moves around without printing is set at 120 millimeters per second. Amers support said this was way too fast but if you look at the website it says speeds up to 150. So again I told Amers that there is a disconnect here between your website with the specs and what you tell me to do in practice. So speed of 60 millimeters per second is what you should set for non print uh, speed and I use a, a, a print speed of 50 personally I like to get more details in my prints so I use 50 so do not exceed 60 millimeters per second the jerk and the acceleration control at least in Cura should be off or not enabled okay that's again important according to uh, Amers good uh, use a good SD card that's important a good card um, and lastly, in some default settings, you will see the, a print bed temperature of 60 degrees. For this printing surface, it's too high. You'll have a very hard time removing your print. So my recommendation is to print with a print bed at 50 degrees, not 60 degrees. Now, this is all I wanted to cover. I'm going to show you in a second. Um, the print quality you can get with this printer that is really inexpensive and in my opinion it looks great it looks like a high-tech piece of equipment or machine so in summary mechanically sound electrically correct as per I showed you for the right voltages for the stepper drivers and the right settings in your slicing software and let me show you here I, after I did all that I was able to print like long prints I printed as you can see here a spool holder for the uh, printer because there is none that comes with the printer and my favorite test which is the night and I did a video about a year ago on this uh, chess set I'm going to show you here with the light reflection and let me just get that right 
Look at that. Look at the nice finish. The slight variation you see in color, and that's because of the filament color stability. Uh, it has nothing to do with the printer, but look at that. Very, very impressive. The mauve is a little less stable in uh, in color, but look at look at the, the finish. Uh, the base is also uh, very nice, as you can see. So, guys, this is printed with the printer with the with the settings and the parameters I showed in this video. If you have any questions, there is a lot here, and I covered a lot. I tried to show the VRF as as nicely as I could, but if you have any questions, put them down below, and I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day, and happy printing. Goodbye, guys.